one right here. I call it my colorful spring tutorial. And we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette again, one of my favorites. So if you want to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, after we put our hair back, we are going in with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and putting that all over the lid up to the brow. And then once we've done that, we are going in with the Jaclyn Hill Palette by Morphe. And then after that, we're going in with this beautiful purplish taupey color and we are using that as our transition shade. It's on the third row down, the third color over. And we're gonna be taking that on any fluffy blending brush you have, and we're going to be doing windshield wiper motions along with um, circular motions just to blend out any edges. Okay, and now we're going in with this gorgeous orchid shade, and we are putting that in a V shape in the socket of our eye and bringing that up just a little bit into the crease. And then we're taking that blending brush again with no additional product and blending out the edges. And just keep adding color and blending it out just to get the desired effect that you're looking for and the desired depth and dimension that you're wanting. And then after that we're going in the shade right above the orchid shade and we are putting that all over our lid. Now um, I didn't get the desired um, brightness that I wanted so here shortly we will be going in with another shade. So this one pretty much won't matter, but if you want, you can still add it. It will add more dimension and uh, just a little bit more oomph to your look. So if you see me talking and looking over and just goofing off throughout this film, my niece is in the room. She wanted to see me film, so um, don't feel like you're missing out on anything because I am literally just goofing off and talking throughout this video with her. And then after that, we are going in with this deep plum shade, and we are putting that also in the socket with a more um, tapered precision brush just to get um, a little bit more color packed into that socket. And then after that, we are going back in with the same blending brush with no additional product and blending out the edges.
And once again, the key to any look is blending, blending, blending. And if you want to, you can go back in with the uh, transition shade and um, just use that to blend out the edges even more. Okay, and now we are going in with this beautiful opalescent pinkish shade. And it's right next to the shade that we used on our lid in the first place. And we are just putting that on top of the one that we put on our lid. Now this is going to make the look pop. And it is absolutely gorgeous. As you can tell, it I was so shocked. It was more beautiful than what I thought it would be. And this color just really pulls off the look. And again, just take a blending brush and go over any edges just to soften it up. Okay, next we are going in with Wet n Wild Single Shadow in the color Brulee. It is a beautiful matte shade, and we are using that as our highlight, and we are putting that underneath our brow. Now once we've removed any fallout, we are going in with Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm to prime our face for foundation. we're taking Dream Velvet Hydrating Foundation in the color Nude 40 and we're putting that all over our face with a foundation brush. And then once we've done that we're going to take a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and we are going to blend that out and what that will do is create an airbrush look and also pick up any excess foundation. going in with Maybelline's Master Conceal in the color Light 20 and we're using any small concealer brush that you have and we're doing this in a V shape underneath our eyes. What this is going to do is brighten your eyes and make you look more awake and don't forget the socket of your eye because a lot of darkness um, likes to pull there for me. So um, don't forget the socket of your eye and also your cupid's bow and your chin just to bring a little bit more brightness to the face. And then we're going in with Maybelline's Dream With Me Touch Highlighting Concealer in the color Buff. And we are doing the exact same motion that we did with our concealer. And this is just really going to bring some uh, radiance and more highlight to under the eye. And then once again we're going in with the Damp Beauty Sponge from Roll Techniques. And we're going to use the pointed side. It just helps get into the crease of the eye and just helps blend underneath the eye a whole lot better. And once again, it's just going to help sheer out that concealer and highlighter that we put underneath there.
And then we'll be taking the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the color Dulce de Leche. And we're gonna be taking the lightest shade and we are gonna be setting our concealer and anywhere we've put it. We'll be taking Rimmel Stay in Matte Pressed Powder in the color Sandstorm. And we're going to be using that to set the rest of the face. And this is just going to help mattify our face a little bit. taking Too Faced Chocolate Sully Bronzer in the color Medium Deep and we're going to use that to contour. taking Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the color Justify My Love and we will be putting that on the apples of our cheeks and working it back into the contour just to blend it in. We'll be going back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and we will be using the lightest shade and using that as our highlight and as you can see it is very pigmented and it is absolutely gorgeous so don't forget to take a stippling brush and blend it out and remember you just want to put the highlight anywhere the light would naturally hit your face like on the top of your cheekbones on your cupid's bow, um, a little bit on the um, base of your nose, and uh, I also sometimes put it on my chin. And now we're using Chap Ice Medicated Lip Balm, and this is just to prep our lips for when we add color. And now we're gonna curl our lashes and prep for mascara. And the mascara we'll be using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and it has become my absolute favorite. It is just absolutely gorgeous, and it leaves your lashes full and thick and just luscious.
taking that dark plum shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and running that along our lower lash line. And then we're just going to be blending it out a little bit because you don't want a sharp line on the bottom lash line. You just want to um, have it really blown out and really kind of smoky. you've done that just with any excess product that you have on that brush you can just put it into the socket just to add a little bit more depth um, and then we are going in with um, the better than sex mascara and using that on our lower lash line After we've wiped off our chapstick, we are going in with CoverGirl's Lip Perfection Lip Liner in the color Beloved. And then on top of that, we are going in with Avon's Moisture Seduction in the color Glimmering Champagne. Time for the brows. We are going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Taupe and we're just lining it however you would like to. I'm just rounding mine out a little bit. One of mine likes to um, be a little bit pointed at the top and I just have to round that out and then the other one usually does good for me but there's always that one eyebrow that just does not want to work for you and also it doesn't help that I also have a scar on one of my eyebrows so one's usually Always a little wonky, but usually I can work it out with this Anastasia Brow Wiz. remember to comb through the brows really well just to distribute the color a little evenly just in case you might have missed um, a gap or something in your brows like mine are very sparse so occasionally I might miss an area so combing through the brows just helps spread out the color a lot evenly After that you just want to use a setting gel. I prefer clear but you can also use color. Um, the clear gel that I'm using here is from CoverGirl um, and you just want to use the clear brow gel to set your brows and make sure they don't move an inch. And after that this look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.
stop. Because <laughs> you're going to make me laugh. Because I don't, I would like be hard, like I'm going to be an actor. Uh -huh. And it would be so hard for me because I'd have people like you, like behind the camera. And I would laugh my butt off constantly. So me trying to keep a straight face is like not one of my key skills. So my cat, okay. Should I go like, hey! Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> no, I'm not like, no. I'm not hey like, guys, welcome back. I'm like, hey. That's what I do. So that. Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing this look. I call it my fresh summer, no, that's not it. What is it? Fresh new color spring look. No, my color, colorful spring look, right? What? Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing this look I have right here using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I call it my springtime, what is it? Stop. You keep asking me. <laughs> I have short term memory, okay? I had a bike wreck when I was little. And I have a scar on my head from it. So I forget stuff. That, why do you think my nickname's Dory? I forget. They call me Dory at work all the time. I'd forget stuff. Like, all the time. My springtime. Colorful springtime. Thank you. That's it. That's I stuff. didn't even say anything. This is stuff going in the bloopers. 